what is up guys welcome back to another video now that i finally have the energy to do this properly here we go so the other day uh joshua ashton decided to merge this into dxvk which gives uh direct x8 to vulcan support or is it vulcan to render you it's a compatibility layer we all know how dxvk works i don't need to explain it y'all are professionals at this point and of course i went and i downloaded this there's other things that of course need to be implemented and done for this to fully be there and finished now there is well there was here's one implement monic state block add d3 d8 to read me and there's probably a couple more now i have a couple of direct x8 games probably more than a couple knowing me and i just don't realize it but the main one is blood omen 2 legacy of kane i love this game it's awesome to play it on windows you it's better to use a a plugin that makes it from direct x8 to direct x9 that has always existed so with this we can just make it from direct x8 to direct falcon and uh have a much better time now if we start it without it uh you're gonna notice pretty quick that you know there's only direct x8 because it will boot up in wine 3d and that in itself is not really a problem the performance is still there it does work but again this is a new thing we're trying to show off if it actually boots up at all that would be great all right so there it is using wine d3d and it's a bit annoying but it is what it is and as i said uh the performance is there even though we had a checkpoint saved it's like oh yeah you have to do this all over again and what i mean by the performance is there i mean it's playable but it's also not playable because it's like capped at 30 fps or something it's not a very good experience whatsoever so if we alt f4 to that and we head to this 32-bit folder we're gonna copy this and then what we're gonna do is i'm gonna open up this and of course i'm gonna paste this in now it's already there but it wasn't being used to be able to use it you have to click settings wine config and wine config of course takes the second to boot up it always has there it is we go to libraries and we type d3 d8 we hit enter hitting okay and if we hit play again you're gonna notice now that it says dxvk and uh you know it's true because there it is now when i was talking about how the performance is good on this i mean 144 fps good so we get our full performance finally in game and everything is functioning and working as it should look at them animations he looks so cool this should also make it much easier to work with uh path tracing tools that nvidia releases that they use to you know uh remake games and make them look better because in all honesty this is one of the games that really does deserve a new life this, this game was absolutely incredible for its time. Now, as you can see, there are some rendering issues over here at the end. I'll show them to you in a second. I think it doesn't do that in the normal render, but uh, still an issue nonetheless. Now they're going to blab on and talk all they want. He totally forgets his vampire abilities. You know, it's one of the movies where I have amnesia, but I remember all of a sudden. Mainly because she speaks of it. For I am Cain, king of all vampires. Alright, now that my horrible voice impression is done. You see those? Oh, wait. Is that just a... No, actually, it's not a weird render bug. Good. Oh, the controls of this game were gnarly on PC. No joke on that. But at least, you know, the tricks that they used to fly shadows were pretty good. 
and I like that uh, these kind of lit up everything. It was nice. Remaking part of this entire area was definitely very fun. Anyway, with that, uh, I guess it's a simple enough showcase to show you that it works and that it runs really well compared to Wine 3D, which is what you would be using uh, if you didn't have this. Sorry about the voice crack, it happens. But with that, don't forget to subscribe. Hit the like on this video, you know? And uh, hit the notification bell to be notified when I go live uh, tonight. And I'll be eating after stream instead of before stream so that we don't have any issues. Damn intestinal problems. Ugh. Bye, guys. Stay safe.